That was the strength of the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Hope that everyone is feeling amazing and I really appreciate all of your positive energy. Um, I just did a reading, a very toxic, um, some very toxic feminine energy, you know, dirt digging, trying to get information um, in any way possible. They want someone's money, they're in competition with you. This could be someone from the past, or this is like, you know, I'm not exactly sure who, who, but anyway, if you want to check out that message, you can, but this is like some, these are some people that were in the reading and this kind of came out, they like fell out while I was putting the other cards away. So I want to see what this is about. There's someone, um, here. There's a masculine energy not heading towards someone because there's this masculine energy here who maybe has a problem with it. But the thing is though, is that love mountain reverse, love is not a problem because love is not a problem or love overcomes challenges. Love overcame some type of challenge or someone overcame a challenge because of love or someone wants to overcome a challenge because of love. So, not sure who these people are, um, but let's see um, what's going on here. Yeah, let's put them all the way up here. So we've got these two masculine energies and someone is, it's something about not heading towards someone, not courting someone. Um, but love, there is love. Someone's overcoming a challenge because of love. Two different masculine energies. They, they aren't seeing eye to eye on something, that's for sure. Um, I don't know who, who they are to one another. Um... Yeah, Three of Swords Reverse, something about overcoming some type of heartache. Um, okay, so the first card out is Tower. Okay, some shocking revelation, um, a situation built on lies or ego, falling apart. Life will never be the sh same again. Some type of shake-up. This could be anger. Ten of Wands reverse. Someone's letting something go. They're letting a burden go. A King of Wands is letting a burden go. Where there isn't a good mix. Where there's no healing. Where something is off. That just came right out when I was looking at the Six of Pentacles reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse connected to a Queen of Wands reverse. Who was looking at this Ace of Pentacles, which is very similar to what the last reading was. So I feel like this could be clarifying something. Okay, so this Queen of Wands reverse wants this Ace of Pentacles. They're looking at this Ace. So this is someone who is... money hungry, they want clout, they want a blessing, they want something here. So someone's letting go of a burden. Or there's some type of, um, there's a king of wands here. Letting go of a burden. It's a big shake up. This queen of wands reverse wants this ace of pentacles. All they care about is this blessing or this money something that's being reworked because you overcame some type of heartache betrayal someone tried to ruin you to take something from you I think you could be starting new after a ten of swords you're starting new and this ace of pentacles is yours I don't know if this tower is a disruption between these people um, or it's a shocking revelation 
or someone is being left, someone is being left behind, or someone is realizing that you overcame something they tried to steal from you and you're moving forward. Six of Cups, so there could be someone from the past, but this also could be someone new that has soulmate energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine of Swords, somebody is in a nightmare because of it. They feel like they lost control of you. Someone's in competition with you or there's some type of a conflict. I feel like there's people in conflict in this group because someone's losing control or authority that wants to hold on. Someone only cares about money or security, overly attached to security. And there's some type of a breakup here. It's a breakup. And there's an emperor in the upright in the mix. That someone is obsessed with this person. So this could be um, a boss figure in your life, a friendship, a romantic interest, a masculine energy that is in the upright, or you're this emperor in the upright, and there's someone here obsessed with you, devil reverse. Um, or there's someone who's got devilish energy around you that's very materialistic. Or, or, you know, you've got this emperor in your life and there's someone here who's obsessed that's off balance, temperance reverse. Um, someone hates it. I feel like Six of Wands, who you are, you're winning. Um, you could be on a platform, you could be celebrated, you could be, you could have um, won after some type of competition and someone is passionately uh, into you or you're passionately pursuing some t sort of endeavor. I feel like this has to do with romance though and, and relationships. Um, and this queen of wands reverse, someone real witchy, aggressive and jealous. Someone either, I think they're, they're sad because they're not getting something and they're a bully. They're a bully that was trying to get something. They're in some type of a groundhog's day. stuck in some type of, yeah, Six of Swords reverse, they're stuck in a drama, there's no growth, and they just want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Eight of Cups reverse, they're just, this is emotionally stagnant, this is an Empress reverse, so this Queen of Wands reverse is an Empress reverse, they're manipulative, maybe bullheaded, I'm just saying that because I kind of see a bull upside down here. Um, I feel like this person is very devilish as well. Maybe that's like... Or... They could have feline energy, but it's like in a negative way. Um, catty. Catty, devilish that's trying to hold on to something, Four of Pentacles, catty, devilish. They want this emperor, or what this emperor can give to them. They want someone's money and moon. They're trying to keep something secret, or this person operates in the dark. They could have done something during the moon cycle, the full moon, um, or this could have happened around the full moon. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone's not... They're after some money, someone's money or luxurious lifestyle, or this person is money hungry. Ten of Pentacles reverse, they're not getting something that they want. Eight of Pentacles reverse, this could have to do with work, where they put a lot of effort into something. This person is off balance or something's not a good mix. Um, this person can't create a Ten of Cups energy, so there's no happily ever after with somebody that's only trying to go for someone for their money. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, all they care about is these Pentacles holding on, greedy. That's all they can think about, Four of Swords. All this person thinks about is money. 
um, in the subconscious. In the subconscious, strength reverse. They know they're in their ego. They know they're in their ego. Recent past three of pentacles, there's some group that was collaborating together and it, there's some type of a failure within the group where they're not seeing eye to eye. Um, someone's getting this new start. There's a king of cups here. I feel like this person is like not looking back or this king of cups is looking at this person who is having a new start in their life. And there could be some sort of emotional um, support there. Um, and someone here is not listening to their better judgment in regards to this situation. A lot of it has to do with some type of like... Depression or phobia or they can't sleep or um, because they're obsessed because they feel stuck or trapped. They feel stuck or trapped. They feel disillusioned. Um, this this Empress Reverse feels stuck or trapped. Um, there's something they did where they can't defend themselves. Um, it has to do with something going on, Page of Swords Reverse, gossip, spying, slander, stalking, you know, this is like digging for dirt, digging for dirt, Six of Cups, about like a soulmate connection. Yeah. Real disillusioned. Um, and they're looking at someone's passionate passions. Maybe someone wants to know. Someone here doesn't seem committed to them. So they want to know where they're going or who. This is like a Queen of Cups reverse. They're very, uh, they could be very um, manipulative, moody, fickle, needy, draining. Um, yeah, f fake, fake. Ten of Wands reverse. Someone's letting someone go or letting a burden go. Six of Pentacles reverse. This could be someone who's, who abuses their power or somebody who um, wants something that they can't have. Or they want money. They want someone's money. Wow. It's, yeah, this is an Empress reverse that all they care about is someone's money. An Emperor. They want this Emperor. They want their money. Um... There's a big tower here, which I'm definitely going to clarify, but, um, I want someone's money. I feel like this emperor is this king of cups, and I feel like they, they're focused on you. Um, this could be romance, this could be business, it could be both. Um, something that this person did, they've exposed themselves. Seven of Swords Reverse. Um, having to do with trying to take something that's not theirs, or some sort of exchange that's unfair. Um, it's there. This is not a happy group. This, this can't, something can't be built. Something happily ever after cannot be built. This person creates environments that are unhappy. People are unhappy around this person because this person creates dramas or it's not based in love. So this person can't create happily ever after. Um, but there is a two of cups here. So there is a perfect match. There are soulmates out here. I mean, there's this Queen of Cups reverse that um, they, they don't have a plan now. I feel like they, they got exposed. They feel like you're reworking something or you're not, you're not out in the cold or this person's reworking something. This is a gold digger, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Pentacles. All this person cares about is money, someone else's money. You could be someone that really is an, an inspiring person with a star. Um, you could be born to shine. Um, very innovative, visionary, humanitarian, healer. 
Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like you're you're getting a new start, and there's an emperor energy around you. There's some type of a two two of cups, and this is a masculine energy that is in the upright. Um, and there's someone here who wants this person's money, or they want a, they care about appearances or something like that. They want um, they were collaborating with this group. Yeah, and I just heard a ding. So there's something really important about this group, and I feel like something got exposed. Um, I hear I hear a dog howling. So. There could be a masculine energy that's very unhappy at this time. Um, someone who took a loss, um, maybe dealing with this Queen of Cups reverse. Expectations, Nine of Cups. Or intentions, Nine of Cups. Someone wants to be happy. They want, to, they want some sort of satisfaction with something, or they're expecting for someone to be happy, um, or self-satisfied, or someone might feel like someone's about to be very smug. Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone is not out in the cold. Someone wants a piece of what someone has. This Two of Cups. Someone wants a piece of what someone has. And they feel like they're out in the cold. They feel sad and depressed. You're reworking something. Um, or this Queen of Cups reverse with this group they're do they're up to no good here queen of cups reverse is up to no good this manipulative feminine energy <clears throat> they want to see what's coming in for you this could have to do with travel they're looking at a king of pentacles they want to travel with this king of pentacles or they are trying to catch them when they travel queen of cups reverse yeah. Okay, so near future. Three of Swords reverse. Page of Wands reverse. Um, Lovers reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. Looks like somebody's not getting a piece of something because there's a breakup. Or they could feel like they need to beg for some type of a breakup, or this is not a match. Lovers reverse, Three of Swords reverse, Page of Wands reverse, some type of bad news having to do with someone overcoming some type of heartache. <coughs> Page of Swords reverse, this person is really nosy and trying to get in someone's business. This is someone who causes problems. They gossip. Um, Death reverse, they won't let something go. And they're in some type of like paranoid state or they're acting out of, they're not balanced. Um, they're doing something unjust in the near future, but you're this queen of swords. You are very balanced. You are balanced. You handle something very gracefully, very intelligent, and someone's not ruffling your feathers. So, um, they're going to get exposed for trying to lie, cheat, steal, sneak. Um, wow. Um, the lens that someone's looking through, King of Pentacles. They want this person's money. They want this leader. This They want this masculine energy, this business leader, this masculine energy that's, yeah, they manage money well or they're good at... Um, business where they have a lot of resources, page of swords reverse, they're like researching this person or stalking this person or trying to dig for dirt on this person, um, gossiping. They could be trying to get this group together to figure someone's business out and they're feeling sad or, re or yeah, they're feeling sad and they're stalking someone or trying to find their, find out information, page of swords reverse. Chariot reverse, or could this person doesn't want to feel ostracized, or they don't want to feel there. Someone's acting out of some type of paranoia, and they're 
they don't want to be left out or something like that. They're trying to find information on someone. They're, they've got some type of like depressed energy and they're like digging for dirt. But this is someone who causes problems because they're acting out of some sort of heightened state of um, anxiety or depression. They could be sending messages to someone, or there's something about messages here, or they're online doing something. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, they could be trying to figure something out about you, or someone making you an offer, or what you your potential is. Um, but this person doesn't have a plan, though. It's just causing drama. Someone's a King of Cups around you, so I feel like this could be a relationship. Or they're just emotionally balanced. It's like an emperor. This is someone who's in competition with you. Um, in the environment. Page of Cups reverse. Three of Cups. This person is... There's people around this person. There's some sort of a social dynamic here. This person's like a sweet talker. I feel like they're talking to the group. In the group, they're like a sweet talker. Um, they're trying to get out of the cold in some sort of a situation. Um, there could be a burden here where someone's letting someone go or letting a burden go. Um, something to do with someone abusing their power or taking, taking something that's not theirs or... Something is not an equal exchange. This is like a bully or someone who wants to win at all costs against a Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody who's doing things the right way. Someone who's very well-rounded, I would say, grounded. This is like spouse material. This is a Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Has something of value in their hands. This person's... Um, Reliable, diligent, um, they take care of themselves. Um, yeah. Someone's in a competition with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's you. So, you have a King of Pentacles around you. You're this Queen of Pentacles energy, but I feel like, um, yeah, there's someone jealous here, Queen of Wands Reverse, that wants what you have, this Ace of Pentacles. Um, and there's some big tower here, and there's a group involved, and this person's nosy or trying to find some information out. And I feel like they're talking to these people here. They're sweet-talking these people. They're trying to um, get some type of information. Wow. Um, I just feel like um, this is some new situation. Um, Seven of Swords Reverse. This person's afraid of getting exposed. I just feel like this could be a new situation. It doesn't have to be, but Seven of Cups reverse. Because they've tried to create some type of an illusion, but I think that someone sees through it. Um, someone feels like something was a mistake in regards to this person, some type of an illusion. Someone could be moving very quickly. Um, and someone can't defend themselves in regards to this person because um, they were trying to abuse their power or take off the top or do something that's unfair. Um, yes, yes, there could be something to do with money here as well. Someone, something about getting paid. Um, temperance reverse. Someone is off or something's off here. Um, and now someone, because they're exposed, they can't defend themselves. So I feel like someone did something recently, maybe around the full moon. Um, and now, now someone feels like they made a mistake in regards to this person, or someone made a mistake. And I feel like someone doesn't want to be involved. Um, and it's because you're here, Queen of Pentacles. So someone was trying to create some type of an illusion. Now, they whatever they were trying to do, it's like they've been seen. They're being seen. But, but I think by this emperor energy, 
And I feel like though there are people here around this person that this person is sweet talking, or they could there could be some sort of like emotional blackmail or something this person is stirring up with this group in the environment. Um, it's like they could be trying to um, cause a drama before someone makes accusations about them. Um, yeah, this person is not mentally balanced and they are, um, this person is, I think something happened uh, maybe with messages, social media, something and they made some type of a move that exposed themselves and there's definitely a group involved but now something's backfiring and now they're I don't know if they're like trying to act like they're very they're upset or sad or if they're sweet talking these people but they're trying to get information or they could be gossiping or stirring up gossip um because they're afraid of something coming out. Um, I feel like this person was trying to create some type of an illusion. Yeah, they're afraid of being stuck. Um, it has to do with trying to take something from someone or abuse their power or some sort of uneven power dynamic. But someone here is getting a new start so maybe this is someone from your past. I'm not really sure who, um, there, there could be a divorce here. Um, this could be some type of institution. Um, religion could be involved. Nine of Wands reverse. This is someone who's real obstinate. So they just will keep going and keep going and keep going, doing something. Uh, even when you know, it's, it's done and over. They keep doing something. Um, yeah, this like stalking, spying, slander, gossip, nosy, causing problems, trying to find something out. Magician reverse, very manipulative. This person could be trying to get readings on someone. This person is very unstable. Something's not a good mix here. And you're getting a new start or someone is having a new start. Um, outcome. But I still feel like there's two masculine energies that are like glaring at one another and I'm not sure what that's about. Um, someone got over a problem because of love. Outcome. Queen of Cups reverse. Eight of Cups reverse. Someone is stuck in some type of emotional stagnancy. Queen of Cups reverse, can't move on, can't move on, all they can, they're like maybe looking back at the past, trying to hold somebody back emotionally or um, can't grow, can't evolve, uh, very manipulative. Um, so Six of Pentacles reverse under the deck again. Some type of power dynamic. This could also have to do with payment or some sort of unfair power exchange. Some sort of tra transaction. There's something about someone's romantic feelings. Someone could feel like they're not going to get a piece of something because of someone's romantic feelings. Four of Swords, all they can do is think about it. They're, they're not... Think about a message. Think about a message they sent. Or something online. Something happening online. Or somebody falling in love with someone. Someone made a mistake here. Um, someone here is... The star energy. Very inspiring. Uh, yeah. It's true lit up. A lit up being. Um, wishes come true as well. So I feel like someone sees you as a, like a wish come true or that, you know, with the star energy, just very much born to shine. Um, so 
Someone could have been trying to abuse their power in regards to you. Six of Pentacles reversed, trying to stop you from receiving something. Eight of Wands, there's some type of message here or something is happening quickly or someone's falling in love. Eight of Wands, one of the fastest moving cards in the deck. And we also saw, saw Knight of Swords, which is the other fastest moving card in the deck. So something's happening very, very quickly. Someone's in some type of nightmare over it. There's a breakup here. Or someone wants to cause a breakup. Someone sees you as the star energy. And someone is in some type of depression or paranoia. Or they're in a nightmare because of this. And we have this tower here. So there's some type of eruption going on. Some big explosion or some kind of big... Um, revelation or disruption, conflict, a blow up, um, a shake up, a revelation. I might have said that already. I feel like what's different about this There's definitely a group collaboration here, but there's this ace here. This blessing, um, it's like someone wants it. They want this money, they want this tangible thing, they want this treasure, they want someone's abundance. I feel like if we're dealing with this king of pentacles, it's like they want someone's money. Or they want what comes with some type of collaboration with this king of pentacles. There's something about a transaction. This person feels like they're not going to get the money or they're not going to get a piece of some some kind of money. Um, I don't know if this is someone new. This King of Pentacles, I feel like it, it is. I feel like this King of Pentacles... I feel like this person has emperor energy. They could be a boss figure, um, king of pentacles. They could be a new love interest, or this is someone from work. Um, I'm not sure who they are, but, um, you know, we've been having a lot of readings about someone from the past with these karmic energies, you know, who tried to take something from you in the past. And I feel like... This feels like very similar energy, only it, it feels almost like a new circumstance. But it could be a karmic feminine from the past. Um, but uh, I just feel like this King of Pentacles is not an ex. I feel like this is someone else. And the karmic feminine energy, is this the same karmic feminine from before? I don't know. Um, but I see there's a blessing here. And there's some type of a tower. So let's find out. Um, but it's so similar to, you know, somebody's got this thief energy. Someone's a gold digger, really. They want reward without effort. They're, they stir up problems within groups. Uh, they're a real nosy, sort of stalkery uh, energy here. Um, so let's see. What's this tower about? Achievement reverse it has to do with work. Someone's not being practical. Someone doesn't want to be alone. Some sort of special group here. Someone, someone's leaving this group or something about someone escaping a situation. Someone's being practical. Yeah, someone's escaping. Someone's very practical. Someone's criticizing someone. Someone doesn't want to be isolated. It has to do with an affair. Someone's criticizing some 
someone. Someone doesn't want to be isolated. It has to do with an affair. Someone can't be versatile anymore. There's no friendship here. Or there's no empathy or someone is operating without empathy. There's some resistance here. Um, there's a romance. There's a romance going on and some sort of extreme information. It's some type of romance, flirtation, love. And there's someone here, it's like they're trying to introduce this lustful energy into a situation. Um, discovery, there's something about travel. But someone is not getting the fortune. There's some type of like a party scene here. Maybe it, it is someone from the past. Um, not sure. The tower. What's this tower about? Romance. Someone's in a relationship. Someone loves someone. So someone's trying to seduce someone. Someone's criticizing someone. A secret is out. A secret is out. Something about someone not wanting to be isolated. N not wanting to take a loss. Trying to sell someone a dream, trying to create an, an illusion. Someone here doesn't want to take a loss, they're trying to create an illusion. The tower is, though, that someone loves someone. There is love here. Romance. But there's this Queen of Wands reverse that is jealous or causing problems. Queen of Wands reverse. Attachment. Something to do with the way your mind thinks or... Someone's detached, someone has detached energy. The tower is, is because someone's in a romance. It's just the excitement reverse. Someone is not, doesn't want something to be seen or for people to talk about it. Um, or it's not excitement. Someone doesn't want something to, to get a tra attraction or for people to get any attention. Um, as a means of protection. Um, but there's harmony here. And someone's escaping some type of a situation. Um, it has to do with an affair. Someone was trying to create an illusion. By seducing someone. Someone's escaping that. They're making a choice. Um, someone doesn't have any influence. Someone can't draw someone in with this energy. Um, and there's some type of extreme information connected to it. There's some letter or text messages or email or social media connected to this. Someone took some type of a gamble they're escaping something. Someone can see something very, very clearly. Someone has very strong vision here. And someone can't defend themselves from something here. It has to do with lustful energy. Someone not being very innovative um, in regards to some type of a negotiation. Something was unfair. Um, someone lacking in patience. Deep down strength, someone is in their ego. Someone knows they're in their ego deep down because they don't have control over someone. It has to do with their position, um, losing a position or not being able to control someone. Um, it has to do with some type of an illusion that they're trying to create. 
they're in their ego because something's not real here. It has to do with dominating someone. Um, but it's like all about some type of an illusion. But someone has strong intuition. They see through it. They see through this fog someone's trying to create, dominate someone, use lustful energy, um, gamble, speculate. Um, someone doesn't have power over someone. And they could be really restless about some type of information as well. Um, they don't know what to do because they're trying to dominate someone. They're taking some type of a um, gamble and it lacks empathy or someone doesn't have any empathy for someone. There's resources here. Someone's losing their power. There's a Three of Pentacles reversed in the recent past. Some Something to do with um, a group that is up to no good. Lustful energy. Yeah, in the recent past. This could have to do with work. People could be unfulfilled. But something that they've done is... Um, there's some sort of duplicitous energy here something happened and they can't walk on their hands anymore so things have to be a little bit more straightforward because something happened here yeah having to do with a lie in the recent past um having to do with some type of flirtation and and money um nine of cups somebody feels like someone's going to be happy or someone wants to dominate, dominate. They want to dominate someone's happiness. It has to do with work. This person is very duplicitous, but someone has a strong vision. Someone can see what's happening. Um, and as long as someone's not in their ego about it, um, they, and. It's almost like they can play the game. Um, um, they can play the game. Someone is, it's like about mental health and concentration. Something about an, an affair and somebody trying to seduce someone. And it, yeah, someone, something about someone to trying to distract someone. It has to do with acquiring things, money. Someone not getting getting something. Um, someone trying to create an illusion, but someone has really strong intuition uh, about this. Whoever this is might be very good at playing games back with someone here. Someone's not going to get anything from this person, um, and there also isn't going to be a drama because someone has a strong vision. Someone doesn't have any power over somebody. Um, near future, someone's not heartbroken. Um, someone is receiving some type of bad news. Someone can't defend themselves in the near future. Um, this has to do with giving or money. Someone trying to seduce someone, trying to get money or Someone made a bad series of choices. They didn't think something through. It has to do with a friendship group. Something about... Not being very wise about who they include in some type of drama. They're looking at this King of Pentacles. They want to seduce this person. Oh my gosh. And there's a whole friendship group involved that are wearing a mask. Um, I think they feel like this person is more, is easier to manipulate or actually what it is is these people are too afraid to um, step outside of the box they're kind of going along with the crowd. Um, but they're following someone here that has very vengeful energy. 
who's taking some type of a risk. Um, this person doesn't belong in whatever situation they're trying to force. Um, they have trouble stopping themselves from being impulsive. Um, and they've already walked themselves into some type of a corner here because it's like something was exposed already. This has to do with money. Something to do with, there's an organization here. Someone could be trying to hide something from being seen. They're trying to take some type of a risk. Um, it, it, a lot of it has to do with not wanting to be isolated, but they're losing influence over someone or people. They could be trying to criticize someone to deflect, um, deflect. Someone is not committed to someone here. There is no commitment at all inside the organization either. Um, so, someone's not exalted. Someone doesn't see someone as exalted. It's not a blessing. It's not, it's not a beautiful situation. It's not lovely. It's not emotionally lovely. And someone here could be just keeping something harmonious and be flirtatious with someone. Um, but I feel like there's some type of information that's closed off to this person. Uh, and someone here feels like they're not going to receive some type of um, money. They want money. This person wants luxury and money. And, and it has to do with a contract or contracts or legal issues. Um, someone trying to avoid a drama here. Or this person doesn't want to be in a drama now and they're confused about what to do. Um, they could be worried about getting criticized for creating some type of an illusion with a lie. Um, there's someone here that is sweet talking people within a group. There's a group here. There's some kind of a social dynamic. Um, they're trying to keep something hidden. They don't want something known. It has to do with something at work or a business. Um, yeah, they don't want the news to get out or they don't, there's some type of communication, something blocked. It has to do with a negotiation. Someone's losing a fortune or they don't get the fortune. Um, someone's afraid, seven of swords of re re <laughs> someone's afraid, seven of swords reverse of being caught for lying, cheating, stealing, some type of a lie. They took something that they shouldn't have. Seven of Swords Reverse. Um, it has to do with flirtation, trying to flirt with someone. Um, or they're trying to sneak or cheat. It has to do with flirtation. But a secret is out. Secrets are coming out. Someone made a really bad decision here. Um, with this affair. Uh, someone is not committed to someone. Someone does, there, does not appreciate someone. Someone, there's no cornucopia here. Something just now seems like a distraction. Someone didn't use caution. And especially there's some type of a connection that's real here. There's a friendship. Someone's wearing a mask. Um, they need to escape a situation. Um, outcome, Queen of Cups reverse. This person won't move on. They won't move on. They're going in circles. Um, someone can't assert themselves around this person. Inspiration under the deck. There's some type of fantasy or fog or untruth that somebody has been perpetuating some sort of an illusion. This could be like a, like a, a boss employee dynamic. Someone could be trying to control someone. Um, 
control someone's cornucopia even, um, but someone's escaping it. But it's almost like in the way that someone escapes is the reason why something's becoming discovered. Um, this shocking revelation that there's a romance here, that someone is in a relationship. I think that is what is the shocking news. Someone's in a relationship. Someone loves someone. There's romance here. Um, someone is... You know, somebody could have had some type of a flirtation or something going with someone here, and it wasn't healthy. Someone might not have seen it um, before, but now it's becoming something more toxic. There's someone here, this Queen of Wands reverse, that has some type of ulterior motive. There's some type of financial interest this person has in something. Um, they're trying to get this person interested le with lustful energy. They're using other people. Um, they're getting other people involved. There's some type of um, gossip or something going on. Uh, there's something about a masculine energy not heading to someone. And this masculine energy is in the they're in the reverse and they're, they're like glaring at this person. They're glaring at this other masculine energy. Um, I just feel like this, there's a tower over a romance. Someone could be having a revelation that someone's in a relationship Or there's some romance here. There's a revelation about a romance. Shocking news. Shocking. Let's find out. What, what do we need to know about this romance? It, it's in the upright. It, it feels like true love. It feels like a real romance. Um... Almost like somebody here felt like they were an expert at something. They felt really... Now now they're worried. They're worried. Something's real love. Something's romance. Someone loves someone. Eternal love. There's someone here who maybe wanted to go on an adventure with someone, but it wasn't love. They wanted to have fun with someone, but it's not love. Um... Could be someone that's an authority figure here. Someone's in their ego is a big problem. Um, something to do with someone's passion. Um, something's a blessing. What do we need to know about this tower? It has to do with a promise someone's making someone. Um, someone has a goal. And that means someone's not going to go on this adventure with someone. Someone, it's some, someone cares about um, luxury, but they're not getting something. They don't get the luxury, or all they care about is some sort of luxurious living. They're not getting it. They can't manipulate someone. And there's a group involved that are failing at it. They're not, they're failing. They were trying to create some type of an illusion, and someone sees through it. Some, whoever this is is overloaded now. They might have been real stubborn about something for quite a while. This person could party a lot or be very greedy, overdo things. This person isn't getting any type of assurance that there's any uh, connection here. And they're not getting some type of luxury that they want from somebody. Um, and this person could be very manipulative. There's, there is some type of sweet love here, though, um, that is very strong. There's very strong love here. There's some type of a romance or marriage or something. Um, and if they're trying to manipulate a masculine energy that is in a romance, it's 
um, something happened recently where someone's mask came off because some type of manipulation didn't work. So they were trying to create an illusion. I feel like something, um, something happened. Someone was trying to manipulate someone or manipulate a situation and they they got exposed. Um, they had some type of a goal, but someone didn't drink, drink the Kool-Aid. Now they're overloaded. Yeah. It's almost like they knew they shouldn't have done something. It's got to do with partying. Now they feel trapped, left out in the cold. There's some type, there is some type of a victory here with someone that's very relaxed. Um, so there's a tower. The tower is that someone's mask came off. There's a romance here. And now someone feels trapped. Something, some sort of fantasy is broken. Some type of dream is broken here. And now someone feels overwhelmed. Someone here is very smart and lives and learns. There's some type of a romance here. This has to do with commitment. Um, now someone feels trapped. Someone's really relaxed though, but they're ready. Someone's ready for something. Um, someone could feel injured that someone else is gonna gain something. Someone has a strategy here. Um, who is, who isn't, who's like down on their luck. It's trying to hide that they're disturbed. Has something to do with work maybe. They're not doing well at work. Someone feels trapped. Something seems to be over. There is no connection here. Um, and someone just seems real relaxed. So there's a detachment. Someone's detached, but there is a blessing here. Or there is something that has manifested itself. It's, it seems to be positive, but for someone here, this Queen of Wands reversed, they could be real jealous of some sort of manifestation here. And someone seems detached. Um, it could have to do with feeling um, lonely or somebody who has a big imagination or a lot of ideas, who's very perseverant, who has um, strong self-esteem. Um, someone here could feel um, paranoid somehow. About They're paranoid about someone being detached. Someone focus on their goals. Um, this person could have tried to create some type of an ending to a promise that someone made to someone, but someone's relaxed anyway. This person has a very strong vision. Um, it's something about something, something in someone's mind here. I don't know if someone wants someone to feel injured. Um, someone didn't drink the Kool-Aid. They're relaxed. In the recent, oh, sorry, in the subconscious, someone's in their ego um, about their own authority or some someone being an authority that someone's not making um, them the priority. Um, They're trying to hide their anger. They're in their ego because they want authority. Um, but there's eternal love here. So it's like someone is not interested in, in this collaboration, in this group, in any kind of adventure. Something doesn't seem like any kind of a gift. Someone has good memories um, and experiences with someone here. Um, they could, they're, there's, yeah. Someone might be building something with someone or they're very focused on um, building wealth, um, investing their time, their money, um, and they're not focused on living 
some sort of glamorous lifestyle with someone here, um, or going on some type of an adventure with someone. Just it's, it seems like a disaster that they want to stay out of. Um, Three of Pentacles reverse lust. So I feel like this is what someone was trying to conjure up in someone in the recent past that exposed them with a group. There's something going on with a group. Um, there could have been someone doing something mean-spirited even or focused on money in the recent past. Yeah, something about someone's treasure, someone's money. Um, they trapped themselves doing this. Um, yeah, there's definitely something about being overly focused on some kind of um, someone's money or luxury, luxurious living. Um, yeah, they had some type of a strategy with this group, but it failed. It was some sort of like overindulgence or partying. Um, intentions, domination, Knight of Cups. Someone wants to dominate someone's happiness. This third wheel is intending on dominating someone's happiness. Or they want, they, this person, it has to do with someone's money or treasure at work. Um, but they're dealing with someone that has very healthy um, self-esteem. I don't know if they were trying to trap somebody here. Uh, if they do that, karma is going to just whip right around here. Um, I think that this person is focused on something that, that is karmically good, that is a treasure. There's, there is something positive here. There is some type of happiness. It's like someone wants to end that. Um, I don't know if they want to try to create conflict in someone's life, make someone agitated, ruin something that seems faded. There's something very positive. Someone is like, there's something in the flow here. Uh, this person's stubborn and they want to, there's something here. There's very sweet love that seems like somebody wants to, someone who's not getting something they want, that's real materialistic, wants to, they feel left out in the cold. They, this person could be very um, nosy. Um, karma is playing out now, and it's going to continue to play out um, if they try to mess with someone's goals, because someone is not blind to what they're doing either. Um, there's, they've been seen. Something that originates with someone just that's it belongs to that person. If they try to make someone's life miserable. I feel like someone wants to agitate someone. Um, they might be thinking they want to agitate them before they get... Um, it's like someone who causes the drama first because they feel like someone else is going to do it to them. So they start a drama they're not getting what they want. They've been exposed. So they feel like maybe someone feels neglected or rejected here and they want to create a drama. Um, it's going to backfire. Wow. Um, Yeah, this person, if they try to mess with someone else's money or productivity, they they are they could really lose a lot here for doing that. Whoever this is, they're, they're focused on, I feel like they're focused on masculine energy. This masculine energy cannot be manipulated. Um, I don't know, they're like in some type of a nightmare in regards to somebody's mega project or... something about someone's money money they want they're focused on someone's money or luxury here um this could be someone who tries to get um 
revenge by blocking somebody's career or money. If this is like a feminine energy that's um, in a boss, like an authority over a masculine energy, um, they could try to make things hard for this masculine energy because this masculine energy is in a relationship, it looks like. Um, yeah, this has to do with work. Someone's very hateful. Um, and there's some type of a group here that's falling apart. Um, yeah, something seems to be over. This could be an ex of yours that is involved or moving on from some type of a... Um, relationship, but I feel like this could be someone new. I feel like you, you've you met this person. I feel like you've met this person. If you haven't met, met this person, um, this is what's happening. This could be someone that's like a future tense romantic interest or someone's romantically interested in you. Um, or this is someone new that's romantically interested in you. Um, there's definitely something about like a makeup project or money or wealth that someone is, um, and a treasure, someone's money. That's all someone cares about is what someone is generating financially. They want this money. This could be someone who unsuccessfully tried to bully you out of something as well. Or this is someone who's like a, a bully and it's not working. This is an overindulgent bully. Um, so definitely, and they're trying to hide their anger. So, I mean, I could be talking to you or masculine energy and you're dealing with someone here. You could be start, you could be in a new relationship. Um, something about this relationship here, um, you know, could be rubbing someone who's really in their ego the wrong way. Um, and it's um, something that is like a gift from the universe here. It makes you feel like you're really, um, it's like you're cultivating something in your own life because of some type of love here. It like, it feels like it comes from the ground. It feels natural and good. Um, It, it gives you vitality um, and it feels like something's growing here and it's like the seed was given to you. It, it's yours. This is your energy. This is... It's like a... It's like it comes from the universe. It feels or, organic. It doesn't feel manipulated. Um, so... There's someone here that's not going on an adventure with you that um, feels trapped um, by your eternal love energy, some sort of eternal love in your life, um, and some sort of kind of peace around you, your peaceful energy, the fact that you're not stressed. And there's something about like a friendship group here that, or a clique of people that are not um, happy or that are like problem causers. Um, someone can't defend themselves in the near future, bad, bad news. Some type of illusion they're trying to create is not working. And whatever they do, it's gonna backfire immediately with this alliance of people, this clique. Um, they're gonna injure themselves this way. Yeah. You could be very diplomatic with somebody um, while also keeping some kind of very sweet love. Uh, you know, there's someone here around you that has this very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Contrarian energy. It's very un unapologetic. Um, 
and it's like you're maintaining this sweet dream. Um, you feel ready for this person. Um, this person is like, feels like they're cursing their life. They keep running out of luck. Something they're doing is not merit making. Um, they've trapped themselves in the old, the, they're trapping themselves in the obstructions they're trying to create for you in regards to work. Um, cause you live and learn, um, this person is just overwhelmed because you don't care for them that way. And, and they, they don't care if you actually care. They really want just some sort of money or treasure. It's like they want to uh, be part of something here that has to do with a house or a mega project or investments or something like that. Um, and something about what's happening here is forcing this person to... Um, it's like a reality check, which I feel like is this tower. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, this person is like interested in trying to come at you with some type of seductive energy. Um, you could be compromising with this person or some, some sort of agreement. There needs to be an agreement here. Um, yeah, someone overdid something. This something could have happened at a party. Um, but you're you have someone here. It looks like sweet love. Um, it's not yeah. It's not about fancy things. It's about eternal love. It's about real love. You have something, and that contributes to the gain. Um, some sort of long term situation here. You're ready. Um, there's yeah. You're ready. You've got a lot lined up. You've got your ducks in a row in a lot of ways. Um, and this person's anger boiling up under the surface is like you're you're you are learning at a fast pace in regards to this situation. Um, you have you have the knowledge um, how to avoid some sort of insidious energy with this person um, who you see um, I don't know they're not I don't know if they're trying to break you trying to break you up from someone um, or create a gap between you and someone else you don't have any type of feelings for this person um, you might share if you work with this person I feel like you try to keep things light and optimistic um, but this person doesn't love themselves and they're they're overwhelmed they, they did something in excess here it they, they could feel overwhelmed by trying to block something in your life or by trying to obstruct something or um, bind you to them um, if this person's got thief energy, so this could be a very narcissistic person, someone that is like an energy vampire. They're not interested in love, they want money. They want to go on trips and spend money and post it and be seen a certain way and they want luxury. Um, but they don't love themselves and they feel like they're in some type of a trap. Something about an adventure that went awry or didn't happen. They feel like their luck is gone, isn't going well, and there's some type of sweet love around you. Um, I know I switched from feminine energy to masculine energy. I feel like there could be both. This, it just seems like there's a divine masculine, divine feminine energy both here. There's some type of connection, love. Um, Someone who parties too much or something about partying is taking a loss. Um, karma is playing out. Karma is playing out. There's some type of a conflict happening. Um, it feels like a long time coming for some type of strategy that someone had that they were doing in excess here. Something is not their blessing to be had. And it has to do with someone's profession um, and trying to block someone. So this could be someone from the past with a group of people, a collaboration. Um, so this could be like 
feminine energy from the, the past that was trying to block you that is now um, trying to keep something going with an ex of yours or this is them trying to come get involved with new territory but, or someone that's coming towards you um, that you are unaware of or someone that's here now or this is a completely new situation that's almost like mimicking one from the past it's it's kind of difficult to tell um, but I think take what resonates I'm gonna pull a few of the astrology dice um, there's definitely eternal love here there's some very very strong sweet love for sure in this reading um, I feel like someone is really focused on their schedule and there's love here and this is overwhelming someone um, who's this isn't their blessing to be had um, the someone here does not care for someone that is reaping what they've sown there there's someone who was trying to create an illusion um, someone doesn't care for this person and now it's like they want to create some type of a drama but someone's living and learning quickly but someone here is trying to hide their their anger um, there could be something they thought they were going to get out of a connection with someone as well um, and they just only trapped themselves they feel like this has to do with success victory achievement if this is someone from the past that was trying to block you feminine energy they're uh they feel like you won if they're trying to block a masculine energy someone sees you as winning or gaining um they might want a piece of it they could feel injured that they don't get a piece of something here they see you as a winner you're focused on your schedule um, but they were doing something with a group of people here to manipulate a situation you're very perseverant someone's very perseverant here with this eternal love wow it seems peaceful um so seven of swords someone's trying to flirt with someone someone's afraid of getting exposed for lying cheating stealing it's some sort of caution someone needs to be cautious about some type of flirtation um, someone here is very perseverant um, someone here overindulges there could be something about a party but there's eternal love here there's a very sweet love this is something that could lead to marriage if it, did it if it isn't already someone here is not interested in something that's just based on um, kind of like clout and money and appearances um, someone's really trying to hide their anger um, they, someone doesn't want to be rejected but they feel trapped um, and they see this game here they're not they're not someone's sweetheart they're not someone's blessing they're trying to hide their anger they're, they're trapped they're afraid of getting exposed for something that they've done here. Um, someone's going to keep trying someone here. What's this? Why, why are they afraid of the Seven of Swords reverse? Somebody here. There's something about sweet love or a couple. And someone trying to go against this couple. Trying to create problems for a couple. Someone's afraid, lying, cheating, stealing, getting exposed because someone's going to go against this sweet love. Um, something about obstructing someone, trying to create a problem. Um, some sort of problem between two people where there's sweet love. Something gets exposed and someone's going to try to create a problem here. Um, but someone's ready for this. Someone really sees something here as, as a triumph. There's someone here who um, is out in the cold or feeling out in the cold like they're not going to get a piece of something here. Um, but someone's ready. They know what someone's doing. Someone doesn't love themselves. Um, someone's going to keep maintaining the sweet dream with someone. Um, yeah. 
victory. Someone's expo someone is focused on victory. Someone's upset someone didn't drink the Kool-Aid. Someone doesn't want to be rejected. They want this treasure, but this treasure comes with this eternal love. And that's what someone has. Um, someone can't be manipulated. It's a nightmare. Someone can't be manipulated. Someone feels overloaded. Something's over. There's no connection here between two people. Outcome, Queen of Cups reverse. This person can't move on, but they also can't assert themselves in a situation. Um, someone's sweet dream is just someone's sweet dream, and someone's going to maintain it. So um, someone's living and learning about, you know, a situation. Something is over. Um, if somebody here was trying to... Um, move something to the next level or something like that, that someone is not going to receive that confirmation from somebody. They're not going to get it because it looks like this person is in love with someone. Um, someone traps themselves um, and they're trying to hide their anger. Um, a bit of a unique reading here. Let's do um, this astrology die and see your or their charts or special numbers or birth birthdays um birthday charts astrological charts i mean um numbers from license plates phone numbers street addresses birthdays um numeral 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 i can't say that word right now numerology Numerological, I can't say it. <laughs> um, so we have the number 11. You could resonate with the number 11. Someone could be born in October or have the number 11 in their birthday. We have the number six. We have the number one. Um, Venus, so this is like divine feminine energy. Someone might have met a divine feminine. Their divine feminine. Hmm. We have a Cancer, we have Uranus, we have Virgo, we have Moon, and we have Pisces. Um, so 6, 1, 11, 1, 6, 11. Um, so those, those could be some of the numbers. Um, we have the number 8, we have the number 5. Um, we have the number six. We have a Taurus. We have a North Node. So we have a Taurus on their North Node. We do have a Leo here. Um, we have Venus again. I feel like someone has met their Divine Feminine counterpart. We have the Moon. The Moon can be very significant as far as transits goes. Moon and Capricorn, which just actually passed. So we have Moon and Capricorn, the full Moon that just passed, Moon and Capricorn. A Taurus is on their North Node. There's a Leo involved, potentially. And we have this, um, or it could be a Leo on their North Node. Um, or a Leo is the one that is trying to get involved here. Um, wow. Well. And I also feel like there could be, that's the other thing, there could be this other masculine energy you know, it seems like it's a feminine energy, this Queen of Cups reverse, that is, or this Queen of Wands reverse that's trying to get in the way. But there could be an X from the past. It's in a tower, and their mask came off because a feminine energy is in a romance. It's hard to tell, but definitely take what resonates. Um, I feel like you'll know if this is for you. We do have Venus and Taurus here. Um, so I feel like a strong Taurus energy. We have Venus and Aquarius. This is a lot about love and romance here. Um, Venus and Aries. It's all about love. Mars and Sagittarius. Um, someone trying to control the way someone thinks. Saturn and Libra. Um, Moon and Aquarius. Saturn and Pisces. And also Moon and Taurus. So heavy Taurus in this reading. We also have Leo here. 
Yeah. Um, if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.